In this class, we take a project for a group outside of Blake, and the entire class is just doing that project from start to finish. So we're intentional about trying to find community partners for this class who mesh well with what we're trying to do here at Blake. Earl Bakken, who's sort of the philanthropist and benefactor of the Bakken Museum, he was the inventor of the pacemaker. All four of his grandkids are Blake alums. We had a good partnership last year with the Blake School. This year we're working on a project for our Mary and her Monster exhibit, which is about Mary Shelley, uh, the author of Frankenstein. We're making an app for the Bakken Museum to let their visitors take personality quizzes. It's a touchscreen quiz that'll be in one of their exhibits and will be there for a long time, several years, they've told us. The exhibit as a whole incorporates not just science, which the Bakken is known for, but history, which we also delve into, and a little bit of literature as well. We're really looking for the input from the students to kind of mold what this activity will eventually be. This was our second meeting with the Bakken. Our first meeting was presenting a rudimentary version of our app. And then the purpose of this meeting was to show them a more finished version. We had a few things go wrong, but overall I think we've made a lot of good progress, especially from the first meeting. Going through creating this, pouring so much time and energy into it, and seeing the product of what we created, I think we feel a lot more pride as a result of that. The environment of the class overall is really different from any other class I've taken here. Programming is only interesting in so far as it actually helps people with their lives. When we identify a problem that needs to be solved, how do we go about solving it? And we kind of emphasize this mode of problem solving that focuses on like figure out the people. Students are not just going to be writing code, but they're going to be thinking through all those questions of like, what is it going to be like when a person interacts with this thing? Who do we need to consider? Do we need to consider people who are colorblind? Do we need to consider people who can't read the text because it's too small. I think it teaches us to figure out who's affected by the problem and try to come up with one solution. Taking that angle on a software class is a really different thing than just teaching a particular programming language. Our teacher, he doesn't let us call him Mr. Hickey, we call him Sean. He wants us all to be, you know, one team and we definitely are. They're setting their own schedules, they're setting goals and timelines. That makes it, I think, more fun. I'm not interested in turning students into professional programmers. That's not my goal as a teacher, but what I hope that students come away with is a sense of understanding how to do a project, understanding how to work on a team, understanding how to communicate with peers and with other stakeholders on the project. You're not just everyone sitting at your laptops writing code, it's you're talking to each other and talking to the organization that you're working with and there's much more to it than a normal computer science class.